success. And look, Miami's, they're an aggressive team. And that's Damian Barry, the ball carrier, who has not gotten up yet. Really a good job by true freshman Kyle Fuller, number 17, coming into your screen. Just making a great one-on-one -on -one tackle against Damian Barry. And the ball did fly out of there into the pile. Had he held on to the ball, it definitely would not have been a first down. And now the, the attention is on the senior from Glade, Florida. Ryan Williams, one of the things that makes him as effective is he works the cutback lane so well. When you get a team like Miami, who does tend to over-pursue sometimes, those cutback lanes will provide some extra yardage. Williams picking up the first down. Marcus Robinson, the defensive end who forced a fumble earlier in this game on the punt return is now slow getting up. So far, Hurricane's been battling the injury bug. Hankerson got a little nicked up early. Barry just went out. And now Robinson, the latest victim. Been dropped three times here in the first quarter. Now on the third nine, Taylor out of the pocket. He's much more accurate when he rolls out of the pocket. That one was on the money to Marcus Davis for the first down. The staggering difference is we have another man down on the field. And now you see all the precautions they're taking. That's what you hope this is for, and it's good to see Marcus Davis up and moving around a little bit in the local crowd, giving him a warm hand of applause. Davis has been bothered by a hip injury this season, but that was a, a hit to the head. And really, the wide receiver spot has gotten quite thin for Frank Beamer's team. Daiwa Roberts is out for the rest of the regular season with a hurt thigh. We just mentioned to Corey Harris, and he gives him a round of applause. Really, for both of these defenses, Miami number one in pass defense in the ACC, but eight in rushing D. Second and 16, Taylor, nowhere to go. He eludes the sack, throws it in the middle of the field, incomplete. He was hit by Colin McCarthy, and now Taylor is on the turf. He took a shot at the end of the play. Frank this Beamer is back to back plays. Check on it. Second time in a row, he's had to come onto the field. Tyrod Taylor extending the play like we talked about. Probably would have been better served here throwing the football away. But what was dangerous? See him leave his feet there? When you leave your feet as a quarterback, you just lay yourself open. And Colin, Mon Colin McCarthy really did a great job with the pressure on Tyrod Taylor. So Taylor is out, at least for now. Logan Thomas, a redshirt freshman, who has thrown 24 passes this season, comes in on a third and 16. Got quite a bit of time against Wake Forest in a blowout earlier this season. He even caught a touchdown pass in that game, but really has not seen any extended action at the quarterback position. And Taylor a little woozy over on the sidelines. Big guy at 6'6", 242. And he's in there on a third and 16. He has time over the middle, has a man open, and he finds Danny Cole, and then Cole takes a hit and loses his helmet, but holds onto the football. How about Logan Thomas off the bench? With hardly any warm-up time. I mean, it wasn't like Tyrod was down. He was getting to throw on the sideline. Steps right into the game. Delivers a bullet down the middle of the field. Really impressed with that throw. Great protection here. Something Tyrod hadn't got to this point. But Danny Cole just splitting the middle of that defense. Von Telemach coming up later with a big hit. It actually took off Cole's helmet. Second and four now for Tech. Williams, big hole over the left side, and he goes into the end zone untouched. Ryan Williams busts in for the 14-yard score.